Good morning, friends. I'm doing a little impromptu vlog today. I'm going to try not to hit my own garbage can. Okay, this is harder than it looks. Okay, welcome to the vlog. If you're new, my name is Jesse. I do all kinds of like lifestyle content, a little bit of budgeting content again, and talk about living with chronic illness. I'm trying to lose weight, hence the workout outfit. I'm actually headed to the gym. The reason I wanted to start a vlog today is because I'm like actually doing something outside of my normal like days. So yesterday we didn't have internet again, which happened at the exact same time last Tuesday, which is strange to me, but apparently it wasn't related, which I don't believe, but so it went out at like 10. So I had to go to the coffee shop and work. And then thankfully my co-host was able to do the podcast by herself. I went and worked from the coffee shop and then I went and got a new phone. So I'm actually filming on my new phone right now. It doesn't have a phone case, which is driving me a little bit crazy. It's making me a little bit anxious, but... It is what it is. And then I got a new Apple Watch, which is exciting. And yeah, so I spent like all of my day either at Verizon or talking to Verizon on the phone. <laughs> so it was, or not all of my day, but all of my afternoon from like 2 p.m. until like 6 with like a little bit of a break in there. I'm all appled up. I'm going to try. I've never used an Apple Watch before, so I'm excited to see if I like it. That is what happened yesterday, and today I am, it is 11.08. I'm going to go walk on the treadmill for a half hour, and then I have a hair appointment, so I'm getting my hair done today, which is exciting and something that I don't do very often, and the last time I did it was in July of last year, and it's March, so long overdue, much needed, but, and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do today. I'm kind of going into the, the consultation and just like letting her help me decide. It'll pro I have a feeling it'll be some sort of blonde, but we'll see. So that is the plan for that. And yeah, so last night Finn woke up at like 2 a.m. I couldn't fall back asleep. I didn't fall back asleep until 5. And then I got up at like 8. So I'm very tired, but I have to figure out how to, if I can pair these with my phone, I'm just realizing real quick. And then I need to go for a walk so that I can be back soon. Cause I'll need to shower, get ready, finish up any last little workout things or work things and then go. This is going to be like an expensive Apple week because my AirPods are like totally messed up. I'm feeling like very self-conscious today, which is annoying. I just feel like extra puffy and like I already, why does this stuff go everywhere? Oh, did I stop this? How do you stop this? Anyway, so I, what was I talking about? I just feel like super self-conscious today, honestly. Like, and I feel self-conscious on the regular because of my body. And then when I have to put on like tight workout clothing or like something that's open like this, it's just terrible. Where am I going? How bad my, am I gonna be able to make this turn? Absolutely not. How bad my, like self-confidence is honestly it's terrible and I used to be very confident particularly working out and now I am not but I'll get there um my breathing is off again today which is annoying but I did 1.48 miles 32 minutes I walked pretty slow and then let's see what else 270 calories no 372 calories 270 act active calories 136 bpm i don't know what any of that means one of the reasons i wanted to get this is as i'm talking about my breathing issue whenever i'm done with cardio i have a really hard time breathing i think it's a nervous system thing but i just 
just want it to be like tracking my heart rate because I just don't want to be like hurting myself unintentionally and I do weigh a lot more than I used to so you just like have to be careful so anyway that is what I did and this I actually got the reason I got an Apple watch is because I got it for like ten dollars a month <laughs> so like actually so like not bad at all but I am gonna need to get new AirPods. I'm hoping I can get them from Costco. Otherwise, if you know of any like AirPod alternative, let me know. Came home to these two crazies. He like, he is seriously gonna hurt himself. He runs down the stairs and then slides once he gets down here. Cause like this floor is just really slippery for him. But then there's this good girl. Yeah, you always, see I'm always a good girl, mama. That's because you're old. You're getting old. You're going to be five in April. So, got some activity rings done, which apparently is a thing. I have no idea, but I'm trying to learn what I'm doing here. And I'm making a coffee. Because I haven't had coffee yet because I woke up late. I didn't want one before the gym, so it's 11.55. I'm going to make my coffee with some of this. I'm gonna go take a shower quickly, get dressed, put on makeup, and then I'll probably eat and then do a little bit of work. I'm planning to leave around like one-ish because I don't really know where I'm going. Also, my new little, like, it's pretty. My little cup for my coffee it keeps it nice and warm to the point that I like actually burned my throat the other day, which was not great. much for vlogging today I feel like I totally forgot basically before I left home I was like stalking the Amazon truck driver because I needed to get my phone I wanted to get my phone um, cover case before I went just because I'm so terrified of dropping this case and I think I told you I got like a cheap one from Amazon well I got it but then I was in a rush. I got to the salon. I've never been there before. And I don't know if you guys are like this, but I am like, I get super anxious when I don't know where I'm going and when I don't know where to park. It's like this weird thing. I got there. I couldn't figure out where to park. I like circled this parking garage and thankfully I didn't get a ticket. So I must've been able to, <laughs> to park there because I didn't pay. But anyway, so did that, got into the salon like three minutes before I was supposed to be there, which I like being early, and but it ended up like not being a big deal at all. Wow, the sun coming through. So yeah, and then I've been there, it's 5.46. I think I left at probably 5.15, and I got there at 1.45. So 2.45, 3.45, 4.45, three and a half hours, which, is about how long it takes my hair. I have extremely, I have a lot of hair. It's very like, there's just a lot of it. But I think that it looks beautiful. I don't really have any way to take a picture of it. She had like a client waiting for her, so she had to go right away. So I didn't get any pictures with her, but she like melted the color basically into, my hair so I don't know I think it looks really pretty the lighting right now is like really good too but yeah and now I'm starving I barely drink any of my coffee so I've barely had any coffee today how I don't have a headache I have no idea especially because I barely slept last night I barely to use barely again because I keep using it I haven't really had any water today which is great I probably could have asked for some at the salon but I didn't I loved my hairstylist front desk people not as much, but I did love my hairstylist. So I would go back for her. Um, obviously you're not paying for the front desk when you go there, but I like really love her. So that was really fun. She's like a year older than me. I feel like lately all of my stylists have been younger than me, which is fine, but it was just nice to like talk to someone that was my age <laughs> for once. And 
yeah so then i picked up happy and hail oh, actually i have it in here it is this like extremely healthy well not extremely but it's a healthy like faster food restaurant that ben and i have been wanting to try but it's honestly um like way far out of the way and i was literally a half a block from it so i grabbed some of that we got a i think it's called a beyond beef bulgogi bulgogi bowl for ben <clears throat> but i'm gonna try it because i really wanted that and then i got myself a hail caesar which is i don't even know i'll show you guys when we get home but it or when i get home but it basically is all vegan well it's not all vegan what we got was vegan i think you can veganize pretty much everything that's there so i'm starving it's 10 to 6 i'm probably not gonna get home till like 6 15. ben has a call at 6 so he is gonna have to eat something i'm sure he's eating something now and then he'll eat his bowl when he's out so i'll just have to take like a bite of his bowl real quick because I really wanted to get that one. It looks heftier than the bowl that I got, um, and I'm really hungry, so I want something like <laughs> like a lot of food, but I have rice at home, so if, do I have rice at home? I might not have rice at home. I have other food at home if I need it. The sun is just peeking through, being pretty as heck, wow. That is the plan, I'm gonna get home, I need to eat immediately and drink as much water as my body can handle because I'm very thirsty and I'm very hungry. I thought it'd be fun to like come along for my day where I like actually did something a little bit different than I normally do. Okay. Sorry guys, I was too hungry. I forgot that I said I was going to show you what it looked like, but I left a little bit of it so that Ben could have it. Plus, to be honest, it was really good. So I got something called a Hail Caesar. So it's like kale. It's all vegan. So like a vegan Caesar dressing. There's tomatoes. These like crunchy chickpeas. And then these are like little buffalo cauliflower things. But it's all, I believe this one was gluten-free and vegan. Or it was just vegan. I don't remember. But, and then there was um, buffalo sauce on top. It was really good. The only thing is it was just like really heavy. I don't know if it was because of the kale. Like kale can just be like really filling really quickly. But this is Ben's bowl. He's not done with his call for like 20 more minutes. So, but it is, this is like a, it's all vegan again. A yum yum sauce. It normally has sesame seeds, but he didn't want that. Um, I don't really know what that is. And just like a bunch of veggies. And then... These are Beyond Meat meatballs. So I think he'll really like that one. It's also like surprisingly very heavy. So he'll definitely have enough food there. I'm actually eating some chips and salsa. This is like my favorite salsa. I don't know. It's not like anything spectacular or great for you. There's like a ton of sodium. Well, there's not a ton, but there is when you eat as much as I do. But I'm going to eat a little bit more of this. And then I'm watching Remy Ashton's vlogs right now. But pups are down there. Feeling good. Good morning. Look at my hair. So pretty. I love it. It's 10.15. I'm starting very late. Like an hour late. <laughs> or at least 40 minutes late. To go to do my grocery shopping on Thursday. Today's a Costco day, so I will definitely give you guys a Costco haul because sometimes I feel like the Trader Joe's and the Sprouts haul gets repetitive because I get a lot of the same stuff, but the Sprouts or the Costco haul, I only go once a month, so I feel like that's interesting. I am not feeling 100% today. I woke up with a migraine, which is unfortunately fairly normal for me after I get my hair done because they use chemicals and I have like extreme chemical sensitivity like the smell and I but I was fine at the salon yesterday so I thought I was gonna be fine I was not because I woke up with a migraine but so I took my migraine medication which therein makes me nauseous and then my stomach was killing me and it's just been like a whole 
thing this morning. So <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bit better. Well, I'm feeling better, but I definitely wish I was feeling even more better. Betterer. <laughs> I am a little bit slow today. All these pretty white like tree flowers are out. It's so pretty. I do think I'm, I might still get a coffee, but I think I'm gonna wait till like the end and then just bring it home with me. Cause the rest of the day is pretty typical. I'm supposed to have a call with my sister at noon. Uh, she's gonna help me with my podcast, but it really just depends what time I get home because usually I go shop, I leave at like nine and I'm leaving at like 10, 15. So it just depends because the stores are gonna be much busier than they normally are gotta get gas all that stuff so I'm supposed to have a call with her around 12 and then I need or I have therapy at 2 but that means I have to leave at 1 30 and I definitely didn't do the homework I was supposed to do for therapy shit so I will catch up with y'all after Costco and show you what I got Y'all, holy shit. <laughs> it is beautiful out. It's 82 degrees. I mean, I'm sitting in the sun right now, so it's probably more like 78. But I did have, end up getting a coffee, but I waited for a while. It's 12.30, so I'm definitely not going to make my call with my sister. And I have, I have to get home and leave in an hour, so let's go. But look at all this. All these and then that whole back is full. Okay, I got a, a lot, a lot, but I'm not gonna show you guys the Trader Joe's and Sprouts. Let me know in the comments if that's something you wanna see, but I feel like it's mostly the same stuff. But Costco, I got these almond flour siete tortillas. I got Ben this vanilla protein. Um, this is Ben's granola pumpkin seeds. I got me some vegan gluten-free stuff. We got these charcoal gel pillows. Our, we have cooling pillows and they're like, what, four years old? Yeah. And they're kind of gross, so got well, these we really at Costco. The... We like the cooling. Yeah. I also got paper towel and toilet paper. Yes. In the Quinoa, dates, um, oats and plantain chips so somehow all of that was two hundred dollars <laughs> well i mean between the paper products and the pillows yeah the, the, i mean that's 45 bucks. yeah those are 45 dollars they were total right so, so basically 100 between that stuff right yeah. yeah and then i just got a bunch of normal stuff from trader joe's and sprouts oh you know what else i got from costco i forgot i got we needed mushrooms, so I just got these because they were really cheap. And then I got some spinach and spring mix because these are a really good deal. I like that they come in this thing, and if we don't use all the spinach, we can just freeze it and put it in, like, smoothies. So I do get those from Costco as well. How are you feeling, Bobby? Y'all are just getting a car vlog today because I feel like that is my life. I'm leaving late I didn't get home till like I don't know 12 45 and I have to leave by 1 30 it's 1 37 so I'm really hoping I'm not super late do you ever just have those days where like like I'm trying to stay calm cool and collected but there's just a lot going on. I just looked at our bank account and we had two fraudulent charges on it, which is annoying. I'm like, we just got money. Why the f are the hackers trying to take my money now? Like, can you not? So of course I saw that like at 128. Finnegan doesn't feel well today. So he's like super clingy. And I had to put all the groceries away. I had to like try to eat something. And then I wanted to check in on work, but all I got to was checking in on the account. <laughs> All right, are y'all ready for how I am the dumbest person ever? Also, excuse the mess. There wasn't fraudulent things on my account, charges. It was my haircut. <laughs> that sucks. But there was another account open under my name. So 
if anything, it was good that we caught that. It was an old card of mine from when my old name and they never canceled it. So at least we figured that out. I was all worried about these fraudulent car charges that didn't even exist. So I'm making some rice for Finnegan because he has had kind of a upset stomach today. So I'm making him some rice and I bought some pumpkin too because that's supposed to be good for doggos when their when their belly hurts but just make sure it just like only has pumpkin so he hasn't really eaten today well he ate this morning i also washed all of my produce which just happens to be red which is my favorite color so i'm gonna put these all back to i need to do the dishes and then is there water in here not much we are going to have this tempeh tonight which i'm not sure i'm excited about or if i'm nervous but we're gonna have like tempeh wraps so i'm gonna make that with our siete wraps i guess we could also have we could have ravioli i don't know we'll see what ben's feeling when he gets off his call and i don't remember what else i was gonna put in the wraps so we got that going for me but i'm gonna make this rice and then i kind of want to film a video i'm gonna see if i can get that done here for saturday okay friends i just finished editing my video i really didn't get any client work done today so tomorrow's gonna be a super 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 busy day i think that's kind of it i am going to end this vlog here i think all we're gonna do tonight is eat and then who's texting me all I'm going to do tonight is eat and then hang out and hope that Finn is feeling a little bit better. I'm probably going to watch some YouTube and chill because tomorrow I have a really busy day. I'll show you my calendar. Yeah, these last three days I've gotten like nothing done, but tomorrow I need to do all of this stuff. I'm trying to figure out when I want to go to the gym, if I want to go like in between my meetings possibly i'm not sure otherwise i'll go right after that so i have my normal tasks i have to put up a social media post check a spam folder none of that takes any time and then i have a meeting at 10 and then i'll have to do like some setup and finish up notes after that meeting i would like to go to the gym so it kind of depends because that, that call will go from 10 to 11 as long as it doesn't go over I might go to the gym and then I have my call with my health coach and then I just have like a whole bunch of stuff. I have to write two blogs. I have to, oh yeah, there's like a ton of stuff I need to do tomorrow. So we'll see. I might end up working this weekend, which I know I say all the time, but like truly I might end up working this weekend because I need to catch up because I basically didn't, I've only worked like a full day between these three days here and I need to possibly make some changes to a landing page once my client has looked through that and I have to add some stuff to a PDF, um, show notes, and then get my my stuff ready for the week send an invoice but the biggest thing is going to be writing these two blogs that's going to take a while i have to write at least one because that one is due on monday the next one's due on tuesday so i'll get that ready for the week but i think that's it thank you so much for hanging out with me and i hope you enjoyed this extra vlog i'm going to try to edit this so i can put it up tomorrow and then you'll get this and another vlog this weekend so double the vlogs but i hope you have a wonderful week and i will talk to you soon Bye.